kitchen. Tell me why I'm ready. Of our steam generator, we have put uh, eight batteries in series here. So we should have about 120 volts, somewhere in there. If we have 14 volts per battery, these are all discharged. We uh, uh, are currently got this set up to a rectifier three phase bridge with capacitors. So these capacitors are set in parallel with the three phase of the motor and we're running an induction motor that's self excited with those capacitors. So I'm going to show you here we have the rectified current is DC and here's the, the positive and here's the negative going into the battery. So this is the battery bank. We're currently charging at 163 volts DC. The AC is coming into the three phase full wave rectifier bridge and line to line we've got three lines there's line one to line two 120 volts AC line two to line three 123 volts and line one to line three 120 volts 119 when it rectifies that into DC we get a boost because of the capacitors a doubling almost we have 162 volts DC then flowing down into the battery bank which is in series wiring so we have 12 volts then 24 36 48 60 72 84 and then this would be uh, 96 at 12 volts if we fully charge these to 14 volts then of course we're gonna have 16 more volts in that and uh, let's go show them the steam turbine now and show you what we're doing. But we're going to stick with the three phase motors that are uh, then basically run as an alternator. We, hire, we wire these in with capacitors and the capacitors 
Uh, there's a small amount of uh, capacitance or, or uh, magnetism left in the rotor and as it begins to spin it, it generates a small amount of electricity maybe 0 0.1, 0 0.2 volts. That goes into the capacitor and instead of being shorted out in the squirrel cage of the motor is sent back to the motor and generates and it boosts that up to you know one, two, four, eight and so on and four, until we get to the resistance which is the battery and it will not flow through the rectifier diode that will not go through that bridge rectifier until the voltage on the other side, which is the batteries, is equalized or exceeded by this uh, three-phase motor. So, in effect, if I put a 12-volt battery, the rectifier will only go to 12 volts before it begins to flow through. And we're probably at 12 volts right even at that speed. So, it's very easy to get higher voltages and with lower RPMs, these are great for wind turbines and such because you can get much higher voltages at fairly low RPMs. And um, uh, there is quite a bit of resistance on these, but uh, uh, we do have a wind turbine. We'll be doing that as well. With that one is going to be wired for 230 volt, uh, and then rectified uh, as well. If that blade is turning, we begin to generate. Without exception, it starts out at 12 volts, and we go up from there. Um, max speed on that, we have 480 volts as the motor is wired at 56 RPM on the face of that turbine. So we prefer the high voltage and uh, you can do a lot more with it. Do have to be careful so nobody that uh, doesn't know what they're doing play with these uh, type voltages but um, great fun. If you have questions or comments, concerns, please leave those below and uh, we'll help anybody. Um, with information just don't kill yourself and don't hold me liable fair warning if you're dealing with electricity don't do that um, having said that now uh, don't get married either it's a bad bad idea but plenty of people do it anyways uh, questions comments or concerns let us know that'll do it Tim.